Welcome back, everyone. Microsoft acting on fears of a massive global computer virus outbreak, issuing security updates for very old versions of its Windows software. While Microsoft no longer supports some of those systems, many people and companies are still using them. That could leave them vulnerable to malicious hackers. Here to explain it all for us, Stan Prager from GoGates, hoping there's a silver lining somewhere in this. There's always a silver lining. Okay. We just, sometimes we need to look really, really hard to find it. Right. Sure. I saw this article earlier in the week, and I yeah. said this has Stan's name all mm -hmm. over it. it. Potentially impacting what? Hundreds of thousands, millions of people? Millions of computers. Well, see, a lot of people are still running Windows 7, and Windows mm -hmm. 7 is still supported by Microsoft, but won't be as of January 2020. What are we right. up to now, so by the way? We're on Windows 10. 10. So, okay, so yeah, this they, is three generations Well, ago. they skipped nine. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> two. Okay. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Why? It's an old version. The, the joke was ten, eight, nine. But uh, the uh. Uh, so, but yeah, they just because Windows eight was such a, such a disaster for many people, they just decided to you know they wanted to rebrand themselves, so they went right to went 10. straight to ten. But a lot of people still have seven, and seven is a fine operating system, and a lot of businesses are using seven because it's stable and their industry specific software runs on it. We use it at my house. A lot. Yes, a lot of people do. Mm. And so, but, but the problem here is that there's this global virus threat um, that will allow a hacker to get into your computer without you doing anything, just right directly through the internet. So Microsoft issued a patch for all other older versions of the system. If you have Windows updates enabled on mm -hmm. your computer, it'll do it. You don't have to do anything. Okay. But a lot of people don't have it enabled to run automatically. So if you are running Windows 7, you want to make sure you go home and go to Windows Updates and Control Panel and make sure that the update runs, and then you'll be fine. Have people gotten hacked yet? Uh, not that we know of, but okay. that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. Sure. So they might not know it. Microsoft right. said they're acting on the potential of a hole in the operating system, a vulnerability. When they say that, we don't know whether that's true. I mean, you know, we don't know whether somebody hasn't already taken advantage of that vulnerability and that that's how it came to their attention. Sure. But this is what Microsoft is telling us, so we want to believe them. There is normally, a patch available. Normally, they're looking out for us, okay? Normally, yeah, Bill right. Gates is looking out for us. So, and I mean, I, you know, to their credit, they don't want these kinds of things to happen. They want you to continue to buy computers with sure. Microsoft Windows on it, Absolutely. so they want to take care of it. But it, it can be a problem sometimes. So that's number one. Um, but you want to also think about if you have Windows 7, you need to take some steps in the next few months. Because as of January, it's not going to be supported. No updates. No updates. So you would say maybe upgrade to the latest operating you system. You either need to upgrade to Windows 10 if you haven't done it already, mm. or you need to think about getting a new computer. Any new computer you buy, like the ones we sell at GoGeeks, is going to have Windows 10 on it. Mm -hmm. Your, an older system may or may not be able to handle the update. Mm. Talk to a professional. They can advise you what to do. Excellent information, Stan. Geeks.